Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the king, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are going to be talking about some really cool stuff that's going to be coming on Into Dead by Daylight very, very soon. You guys may have seen these leaks before, but today we're going to be talking about it in a video for those of you guys that don't know. Before we jump on into this, make sure you guys come on over to Twitch. Again, we've been streaming every single day on the grind, and yesterday was absolutely amazing, so I'd love to see your faces there as well. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you guys are brand new to the channel for some more daily DVD content. And let's jump on into this video. So the first piece of information that we have for you guys now is absolutely crazy. We've been speaking that when Dead by Daylight comes out in the fifth year, they might have something pretty big for us. And we've been talking about a few things that they've done in the past. You know, we had dedicated servers, crossplay, the store coming on in with cosmetics, the updates to engines, the archives. And now we're getting some leak coding that is hinting that we might be getting virtual reality in Dead by Daylight. Shout out to Leaks DVD for this information. And pretty much they are saying that there's new code that has VR support for Dead by Daylight, like devices like the Daydream, the Vive, Oculus, and all the other things. And I'm going to show you the coding on screen right now. I don't really understand coding, so I don't know too much, but I'm going to take what they say. Uh, and that is pretty damn interesting. Just imagine playing Dead by Daylight in virtual reality. This would be a step up from where the game is currently at. And for everybody that wants to play in VR, it would be absolutely amazing. That's a pretty big leak. That is something that I was not expecting to think about or to see. And virtual reality could make its way on into DVD. It's not too far-fetched to think this, considering a lot of other horror games, especially which I would consider one of its major competitors, Phasmophobia, has virtual reality from the beginning of the game. So it would make sense that they would want to take this leap and push the game out to be a little bit more than what it is and it would definitely spice things up a lot don't know how that's going to work with balancing and if there's going to be two different servers or anything like that but we'll have to wait and see again this is not confirmed by the devs or anything like that this is literally just coding leak so don't expect this to come out but there is a good chance that it will so what do you guys think about virtual reality coming on into the game i think it would be quite awesome to just work on a generator just turn the corner and see a ghost face just looking at you it would really bring that scare aspect back to dead by daylight and it would make for some fun fun games but not only that we got some more huge news for you guys they also saw that dead by daylight is most likely preparing to host tournaments in the future and the reason why is because we got some leaks that said tournament access key pop-up tournaments tournament prompts widget tournament rules widget and twitch link accounts that's pretty interesting stuff this is going to be really awesome for the tournament style gamers that are out there as you guys know recently dead by daylight have really amplified the amount of tournament play that's been going on there's been some amazing tournaments that i've shout casted and i've even been in and i've always said that it would be really nice if dvd incorporates a tournament type mode in their custom games allowing the players to select what tiles they want on specific maps and anything to do with making the game more fair in a tournament sense and now we're actually seeing some coding that supports the idea that tournament mode could come on into the game this would be amazing where you could change some custom settings such as how many generators there are, how fast gents work, restricted items, restricted killers, restricted perks, restricted survivors, things like that just to make the tournament play in the tournament scene way more balanced and fun rather than having to set the rules up and then making sure everybody complies with the rules in the likelihood that they do. Additionally, they're saying that this might be with the Fog Whispers, so that's pretty cool. So if we ever get any information that we're allowed to share, I'll let you guys know. As of now, I don't really know anything. So this is going to be pretty interesting. They also said that this could be one of the steps that they've done with the UI. And this was the first step, the UI doing the, uh, the main concept of this and then moving on towards the tournament access. And that's probably why things like that have been changed. So this is going to be pretty cool. And they also said we will need an access key in order to participate paint in these tournaments so and that's what the first lining of code says we'll have to wait and see exactly what this entails and what this means maybe we'll see it when the game uh has its next major update after the ptb or in the next chapter or again in the fifth year when they normally plan some big things pretty interesting stuff though and i think most of the community is happy to see this and it'll be awesome if even regular people from the public can participate in these communities and win prizes like or excels or dlcs or anything like that and not just be inclusive to content creators or staff for tournaments so that'll be really awesome i'm assuming this is going to be something that's going to support the entire tournament scene 
or else they wouldn't go through all of this. Next on the list is news about the Lunar New Year event, and it says that we're also going to be getting a Lunar Toolbox. So normally we're used to getting the Lunar Flashlight, the Lunar Med Kit. Now we're going to finally see a variation to the Toolbox, which is amazing because we never actually had one like that. So the Lunar Toolbox might make our way uh, its way into the game. We also have the old red envelope offering and the old firecrackers, and the event is going to be called the Gilded Stampede. And there's also going to be a new red envelope and we actually have a picture of that for you guys here and it says a special gift for the lunar new year celebration as a killer hook a survivor on a new year celebration uh hook to earn bonus blood points as a survivor whenever a lunar celebration generator is repaired you earn bonus blood points using this offering increases the amount of blood points earned for these interactions during the event all hooks and generators will be replaced with lunar celebratory hooks and generators the stacks only playable during the gilded stampede event so that is pretty cool and then more stuff more information for cosmetics that are going to be coming on into the rift we have cosmetics from mobile that are going to be making their way into the game this is going to be skins that we've seen such as the frosty trapper and the frosty hillbilly as well as the variations to dwight and claudette that are winter themed not sure why we didn't get this in the previous risk considering that was uh next to december but hey that's all right we're also be going to getting the legion and neo their variations of the outfits as well so more mobile stuff coming on into core and another cosmetic for dwight and meg thomas so that's gonna be pretty interesting and the final piece of information that we have which i would consider one of the biggest informations and the coolest things to come is that in the mid chapter patch of 18.5 we are likely to be getting Demogorgon, Steve, and Nancy Cosmetics. So all these Stranger Things fans, including myself, are probably pretty hyped up for this. Now, again, take this with a grain of salt. You know, nothing is set in stone. These dates are not set in stone, nor is the Oryxel value, or even if these skins are coming out. But according to the coding, Nancy and Steve and the Demogorgon are all going to get skins on February 2nd for 1,080 Oryxels, and they are all going to be of the Moment of Growth collection. The Nancy one says Days of Rose, an outfit worn during the calmer times in Hawkins, Indiana before everything turned upside down. For Steve, it is the high school hunk. In those days, Steve was at the height of his popularity. And finally, we have the Demogorgon, which says Geo Mutation. Ooh. An unusual mutation formed in the entity's realm, causing rock like chitting to grow from the creature's flesh. So that is going to be pretty awesome. And people have actually figured out and speculated what these skins are going to be so you're going to see it on screen right now of what is likely to come on into the game so pretty cool cosmetics coming on in for nancy and steve and there is a lot more cosmetics coming out for the wraith the dead slinger jane kate meg nia yui plotted nurse oni felix adam zarina and despair these are all the descriptions that are probably going to be in the rift or just what's to come in the store i'll leave them all on screen because there is quite a lot to cover in this video but you guys can pause at any point in the video and take a look at them and see if any of those skins appeal to you i'll quickly read the meg one because i am biased and that one is set to be on february 11th the hot rod retriever Rather than attend her school's 50s dance in poodle skirt and bow, Meg went as a tough-ass nails mechanic with a colorful personality. So that is going to be pretty awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome stuff. We got a lot of leaks coming on out. And of course, we got the mid-chapter patch that we uh, are been playing on the PTP. We're now back in live. We're going to be playing that on Twitch. And then soon we'll give our opinion from the clown and everything like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like down below. If you did enjoy the video, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel for some more DVD content. Again, please come on out to Twitch. We'll be live right now. As always, I'm the King. I did my crown to you guys. And we'll see you in the fall.